Wendy Morado, and I'm with Isaac. Isaac, and we are here do, to do cat, cat chat. chat. And this is, I don't know how many episodes we're on now. We're like close to 140, maybe in 140 yeah. episodes. But um, we're going to get right to it because we have a lot of kitties. And we're going to do five different kitties today. Number five. Number five. Here's number one, Sweet Pea. Hey. And she's named Sweet Pea for a reason because she is super sweet. sweet. And you can see she's a dolly. And um, hi, Sweet my little dolly dolly oh dolly is she? yeah she's a little bit older um so she uh is in a room we ca i call it my grumpy cat room but she's really not a grumpy cat yeah, she's just a more not. quiet cat and she's over there just hanging out with her buddies um this was a kitty who was somebody's cat and she had to move out of state. Let me just make sure. No. Which one was this one? She was a stray. She was Microsoft. Oh, that's she right. Wasn't somebody Cut that part out. See, I did get him wrong. <laughs> All right. So Sweet Pea was a stray cat that someone found in their garage. Ooh. And they thought that she was younger. But when she got here, she was much older. And she doesn't have any teeth. And um, we did have to do a dental on her, but um, she's doing really well now. Her she... mouth hurt her really, really, really badly. Oh. And um, like I was saying on our last show, we've had to spend a lot of money on dentals um, because people don't always look inside their cat's mouth. And um, sometimes the cat doesn't want you to look inside their mouth, but there's an easy way to do it, sort of. But you got to look at the back teeth. You're not just going to look at these front teeth. They're, most of the time, it's these back teeth that give them the most trouble. And if you can look back there, and if there's a lot of tartar on there, the tartar starts building up this way and pushing into their gums. Their line, the line of red will be on their gums. That indicates that there's some pain, um, inflammation, gingivitis. Oh. And that's very painful to your cat. They can stop eating and everything. And so she was in a lot of pain. We took care of her. She's a sweet pea. She's a definite lap cat. Um, but she, um, she's ready to go. She's ready to go now. We put a lot of money in this kitty um, to make sure that when she goes home, she's comfortable and happy. Smile. Do you want to share a cat fact while I'm holding Sweet Pea? Um, yes. So if your cat is around the house and is bored, you should put little bowls of cat food like on the floor so your cats can like hunt for them. And why would you want to do that? So they can like hunt for them and it's like fun for them and so they don't get bored. And, and they don't get bored. Instead of having one bowl so they're like, oh, I know where that is. Yes. So they go hunting for some more and it gives them exercise and then they don't chow down all their food all at once. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. My cat does that. He does? Yeah. Does he ever throw up? N no, but, but like she eats it and then goes to Smokey and it <laughs> eats all the food. I have a cat that eats so fast that he throws up all the time. And one of the things about that is you can tell if they're sick or not sick. Um, sometimes if the throw up is always whole food, then they haven't even had a chance to digest it. They're just gorging on the food and oh. then they throw up because they ate too much too fast. So that's what my Gus does, my Gus Gus. And um, so he likes to eat really fast and then every once in a while he throws up. But it's always whole, undigested food. So a lot of times when your cat's sick, sick, sometimes it's already in the digestive stages where it's already kind of mushy and yeah. stuff like that. So slushy. Yeah. So if you have a cat that just tends to throw up, acting healthy and everything, maybe they're just gorging, and maybe you need to hide some bowls of food around so yeah. they don't have to go little by little and find them, right? Yeah. After one day or like an hour, if you leave the house for like one second, it'll probably already fall. Oh yeah, know. definitely. What you got there? You got a little, got a little nip in the ear, huh? Okay. Oh. Well, isn't she sweet? This is our little sweet pea. Sweet pea. Okay. Who do we have next? 
Oh, hi, Aubrey. Hi. Here we go, Wynn. Thank you, Miss Wynn. Hello, Aubrey. Hello. And this is Oreo. Oreo. Okay, I love Oreo. Isn't he, uh, she, her sorry, eyes. it's a she. Oh. Isn't she cute? Yeah, her eyes are like poof. Huge saucers. She's in the grumpy cat room too, but she's not grumpy. She's just, hey, hi, buddy. Um, she's just kind of nervous a little bit. She's a big cat. Look at how big she is. Yeah. She's considered a black tuxedo. Hi, do you want to sit with her? Does he, don't you think she's cute? Yes, you're a cute boy, too. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay. Um, so Oreo was one of our... Um, we had a volunteer years ago, uh, about seven years ago, adopt Oreo as a kitten. And she had to move out of her house, and she went to live with somebody else and couldn't take the cats. And um, the rest of the story will remain uh, anonymous. But at this point, this is Oreo, and she is definitely a lap cat, too. She will warm up to you, but initially she might be a little nervous. Yeah, she so, hides under a blanket in she that does. room. She does! There used to be a sign that said... Beware a cat Oreo under the blanket. <laughs> don't so sit on this chair. Or don't pull the blanket. Or don't pull it. So what she does is she she's so cute. She'll dig herself underneath this blanket. She loves it under the blankie like that. And uh, I imagine if she slept with you, she'd probably sleep under your blankets because she loves it yeah. under the blankets for some reason. But um, she's purring. Hi, Oreo. She doesn't have a mean bone in her body. She's a sweetie pie. And she's so warm. She's cute and soft. But she's a, a, hunk, of, a hunk of a cat. She's, yeah. a, she's a pretty good sized cat here. Hi, sweetie. And she has beautiful green eyes. Hi, you're just purring up a storm, aren't you? You're just purring up a storm. She is really a great lap cat for somebody but it would be great if she went to a quieter home no screaming kids or babies or running around um no you know dogs barking things like that yeah. uh, but if you want a, a companion this would make a she would make a great companion she's a little dolly oreo and there's a reason why she's called Oreo, obviously. Yeah. Cream, and then there's like a cookie and Oreos. And I sleep under my blanket sometimes, so that'd be fun. I just look that over and I see. That would be. Plus, she's sweet like a cookie. Yeah. Yeah, she is. What about a cat fact? Um, yes. Cats can jump six times their height. So a cat, maybe like about one feet t tall, can jump about six feet. And that's like a superpower. Like me, I can jump like maybe like like half my height a little <laughs> bit. Like. Yeah. I saw you. You you demonstrated. It was pretty high. Oh yeah. You got your feet up there. Yeah. You're a you're a lean mean fight machine. Jumping yeah. machine. Yeah, jumping machine. Jumping machine. Mexican but jumping they, mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they can jump six times their height. That's that's like a superpower. Like this. Boing! They Boing. have springs in their legs, yeah, right? Yeah, springs. Yeah, so you got to be really careful of what all the glass things in your house that you put up really high because they can jump. And then they go, hmm, I wonder what this is. Boof. <laughs> Off. Especially if you have an oriental type cat. They're very curious. Anything with a triangular face is going to be of an oriental, you know, descendant. And they can be very nosy. Yeah. And curious. So you got to watch all the glass. And they're very agile. They can jump all really high. So that's a great cat fact. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to share? Um, yes. So a 16-year-old cat will be 80 years old in, in like, like human years. Because the first one year of a cat will be 15 years in human years. And the second year of a cat would be nine years in human years. And after that, it goes up by four years. That's right. So by the time they're two, they're 24 years old in yeah. human years at two years old. So that's kind of like they're driving and they have their own job and they can take care of themselves. And when they're three, it, it goes up by four years. Four years, 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 four All the rest of their life. Are you saying four years? 
four years. Four years. <laughs> four years every year after two years. Yes. Yes. So by the time they're 16, they're 82. Wow. So some people have 20-year-old cats. So that would make them 90 years old at wow. 20. Yeah. I did that math all by myself. <laughs> four, 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 four. So, oh, I, so no. What am I thinking? That's not right. It's a yeah. hundred. Oh. Because that's four times four, and that's 16 plus. Wait, I'm completely, there's a math teacher right here, and she's laughing at me. <laughs> so it was 82 at 16. Yes. Plus four, 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 that's 98. And that's my final answer. <laughs> so if I was a cat, I'm 11. 20 years old is 98. So, so if I was a cat and I'm 11, I'd probably be like 65. I'm not doing any more math because I just made a total fool of myself. <laughs> Wait. I don't. I do cats. <laughs> I'd be 60. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> we better stick to the cat thing. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And then how old are you? You're like eight. But she doesn't care. She's a dolly. Thank you, Wynn, very much. This is, and she was a darling the whole time. Thank you. All right. I'm going to antibacterial between these because this is a good thing for us to do. So we've got all this antibacterial stuff going on. And you want to hand Jolene to Isaac? And I'll talk about her while I try to open this thing up she's a little restless okay can you handle her ah, claws out of the claws okay. out of claws, uh, okay. the claws come here joe joe jolene i got her Bing. it's like a little word. okay just See, i'm good at cats <laughs> it's like the claws touch yeah. and they're like this jojo jo, jo, jo. it's okay baby okay want to calm your cat down another way to do is just bl uh, blindfold them with your hand it will calm them down then slowly go like this Jolene, listen, I know you don't like other cats. Can you please remove this from her scent? Thank you. All right, this is Jolene. I had Jolene at my house for quite a while. She, she just said it like right there. Yeah. She came from out of state. We helped a friend of mine that was from Nashville. And she brought up Jolene and three kittens. And the neat thing about Jolene, and she is really a sweet girl, but... There's a lot of cats around, and she is an um, ex-mom, and sometimes these moms stay in a very territorial, aggressive mode because they're trying to protect babies. But one of the coolest things about Jolene is that she doesn't have a tail, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that little bobtail. She's actually a Manx, a Manx kitty. Okay, it's okay, baby. Here. Is it a tortoise shell? She's a tortoise shell. Good job. So I'm going to let her tuck her head right here. I've had her at my house. She is the sweetest girl. When she's at my house, she loved to be pet. She loved to be held. She was very social. And um, that was when she had her kittens, too. So two of her kittens are um, Manxes as well. And oh. um, But sometimes they do have litter box issues, we do have to say. And it can have something to do with the fact that they don't have a tail and that their anatomy or how God made them back here, it could have something to do with that. But um, she does not have any litter box issues. She's never had any issues using the litter box. Um, but she's definitely liking this hidey hole that yeah. I made for her. And she's definitely calming down. A real sweet girl. She's spayed. She's ready to go. She's not going to have any more little bobtail or manx kittens, unfortunately, because I thought that they were adorable. You had the most adorable kittens. She is really a sweet girl. Uh, tiny. She's little. Yeah, she's only she, about. Oh. She's only about. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Here's mommy. See her when their ears go back like that. You gotta watch. You gotta watch because she's mad. And that's okay. I'm going to I'm going to give her uh, another second here, a couple couple seconds here. Let go. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just try to calm her down. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. See, sometimes you can go like this. Look at her ears come up. 
When their ears come up, there you go. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah, when their ears come up, they're not so mad anymore. Oh, now they're This is back calming down. her down. Okay, watch the ears come up when you do their eyes, you do their face. She's calming down. There you go, piggy, piggy. They like that. Here comes the ears. Here they come. Boop. <laughs> That's so cool. Yep. Yep. Don't they have like scent glands, like uh, pheromones that like when you rub them, it, it, it like it like calms them down? Yeah. I like how you called them hormones. Hair They're actually pheromones. Pheromone. But you know what? There's hair right at the pheromones, so you could call them hormones. Yeah, hormones. Let's call them hormones from now on. We have a new term, hormones. I don't have hair. Skinamones. <laughs> Skinamones. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> You're ador isn't he adorable? All right. So now that we have her calmed down, she's tucked her feet. When they tuck their feet like that, that means they're very con content now. Okay, so she knows that she's in a safe place. She's not fighting anymore, as you can see, to get off my lap. She's had a few happy, happy things going on here. There are pheromones, happy scent glands all in their cheeks here, and that's what's calming them down. I'm just doing what I know calms her down, but really her own pheromones are calming her down right here. They do, if they extend their neck like that, that means they're extremely trusting of you. So get your ears up, pity, pity girl. So now, now she's just gonna go see pee bye. <laughs> All right, this is Jolene, come and get her. She really is a sweetheart. And she's young, huh, Jolene? Now she doesn't even wanna get off. <laughs> come and get her, Win. All right, Miss Jolene, I love you. Mom is girly. Okay. Hormones. Skinamones. I love them. I love that. I'm calling them hormones from now on. Buddy. All right. This is the buddy. one that my buddy. All right. Buddy. So, buddy, awesome cat. You want to hold buddy? Uh, here, let's put him right here. Let's help put him right here. Isaac wears shorts, and sometimes they scratch his legs. That's oh, why we don't have yeah. him have you hold him a lot, because sometimes they scratch his legs and stuff. Yes. But this is our buddy, and he's called Buddy for a reason. He's really a great buddy, yeah. isn't he? He is super, super nice. Never met an orange cat I didn't like, and uh, that's kind of one of my sayings. But And you can see how his butt comes up a little bit when you pet him as you hit here, and then you hit there. Yeah. So you have to watch that. So what happens is they can be overstimulated. So it's obvious when you pet a cat and they do lift their butt like that, that you can overstimulate them by petting them past here. So if I continue to do that, he's going to get more anxious. He may even want to scratch or bite you to tell you to oh. stop it. You can see his ears will flatten. My cat And he's does getting that. cranky. So we're not going to, if you have a cat like this that, whose butt goes up like that, because they're like uh, stimulated by that. Um, and we, we talk a lot about this half of the cat being the happy part of the cat, this half of the cat being the aggressive cat. Now he's angry. And I want you to understand that if you have a cat like that, do not pet them past their shoulders and you'll have a happy cat for the rest of their life. Just don't pet them past the shoulders. Oh. But I'm gonna calm him right back down by using what we know is a calming agent. Look at the tail, watch for the tail to calm down. All right, buddy, good boy. We're gonna talk nice to him. Okay, it may take a minute. When they're overstimulated, you can, they will transfer that aggression to you sometimes and you will become the wildebeest in their hunt for, <laughs> to release that tension. And so it's not that they're a mean cat, you have overstimulated them, you know, somehow by over petting them in the places they don't want. Now there are other cats you can pet anywhere, anytime. Look at the tail, here we go. We're, we're coming down, we're coming down, we're making them relax. We can definitely do this right here. This is always oh, a good- Oh, I love that. Okay, buddy, oh, oh, oh. okay, here we go. He's like gonna right. do springs. Yeah. Now see, when they overextend their chin like that, that means they have total trust in you because if I were 
a predator, I would be going for here to kill him because that's a neck bite. And they know that. And if they extend that, that means they totally trust you. Now look at his tail, it's coming down. But he was quite overstimulated real quickly. So if you take him home, just pet him from the shoulders up and he'll be just fine. Now he has a pillow with my hand. And there you go, buddy. He's a sweet boy, just a sweet boy. He might even go to sleep right now, okay? So this is us learning about different cats, different personalities, how the body works to, uh, different cats have different um, levels of how you can pet them. Look, he's kind of going to sleep now, isn't he? You wanna pet him now? Pet him in his head. Oh, his Very eyes good. are like squinting and like closing. He's like really happy right now. And, and his, his ears are and his ears are down. Is that bad? Like no, nope, that's because you're petting him that way. Oh yeah. Now he's gonna go seepies. <laughs> All right. Now oh. the tail is happy. He's still thinking. Oh, he's still thinking. But when they're like that, sometimes you have to give them a half a day to go calm down somewhere. Like you can't push them. Uh, if you have a cat that's very aggressive when you pet them and they turn around and they bite you, you want to leave them alone for a while. Sometimes it takes a whole day for them to unwind the aggression that they have. Um, but he's not like that. He's already calmed down and he's just going to hang with us. I bet if we watched a movie, he'd sit here the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there something with your eyes? Are you getting an allergic reaction? No. You're good? Okay. <laughs> Good. Who do you have now? Do you want to just bring him over? We have Amber. 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 Okay. She's a little squirmy. Oh, squirmy. A little squirmy, wormy. Squirmy. Hi, Amber. Hi, silly girl. All oh. right. So Amber is only about nine weeks old, oh. and um, she is a dolly. She's a uh, she's what you call a, a harlequin. Bye, buddy. He lives in this room, so he's allowed to go. Yeah. He's a chunky boy, but uh, real sweet. Um, so Amber, hi, Amber. Sometimes I kiss them, and their faces turn red because uh -huh. <laughs> people are like, "Oh, what is this red on there?" Oh, Wendy kissed him again. So she's what's called a harlequin. And when oh. you have an all white body, so you want to pick her up and show everybody that she has an all white body, right? And she has, she's a called black a black tail. harlequin. A black harlequin because first of all, she has color here and color here that matches and one to three spots only on her oh. body. We have actually a bowling ball. <laughs> We have a bowling ball. One, oh, yeah. two, three. I'm just gonna right. Boom, yeah, down one, the lane two, three. you go. Down the lane you go. Here you go. You can hold Amber. She's a darling. One to three spots on an all-white body frame from you know this part. Gunk, that's a harlequin. If oh, she had hey. no spots on her, she would be called a black van, which means that her whole body's white and just her head and her tail have color on them. And so they're kind of special, you yeah. know, because they are a very distinct pattern of color. So she is a black harlequin. Doesn't that sound fancy? Yeah, harlequin. Yes. Harlequin. And she a dolly. And what color eyes does she have? She has like orange. Green. Do you know what three colors are normal colors for cats? Um, isn't it green, yes. blue? Okay, blue can be a color. Mm -hmm. And orange. Orange are, is a color. It's kind of a, it's kind of a brownish hazel. Yeah, I was about to say hazel, but whoa, yes. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, is she allowed to go? It's like walking zoom, like zoom. a human. It's like its back legs are like moving, but it's like I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna put her in my leopard in a tree hold and just calm her down a smidge, right? Yeah, smidge. <laughs> you can edit that out. I am not allergic to cats. <laughs> okay, so this is my leopard in a tree hold, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what we like to do to calm everybody down. And 
She's just gonna, yeah, right there. You can even pick that up right there like this. Boop, she wants to go. I don't want her to go. Of course, I don't want her to stay here very long either. I don't wanna make her do something constantly that I want her to do. She will become an angry cat. She'll become an aloof cat. She's not gonna wanna be around me. So I want, I, right now, I just want her to calm down and that's great. She wants to go over to Mike who has, um, Mike, thank you, Mike, for coming in and taping the show. Um, she wants to go to, to see Mike and the cats that are all around his feet right now. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to go see all but those kitties right walking there. around. And then Vanessa's, Vanessa's creeping, coming. Nah. creeping around the corner. And you know she likes to start fights. Yeah. It's Vanessa. We love Vanessa. And uh, now she's just, she's got a front row seat, see? Yeah. She's, she's got a front row seat. She's going to watch it all happen. <laughs> All right, so this is Amber. We love little Amber. Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Okay, here we go. Whoopsies. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> your head. It was like, it was like, here we whoop. go. Thank you. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> All right, and that's our five for today. And uh, so, lastly, we're gonna we're gonna showcase these really cool blankets. Oh, I love you wanna blanket. You want to take a few? Let's see what we've got. We've got some of the similar ones, but we have some gals. We have a couple of gals that just make these blankets. Uh, we keep a lot of them, but we can't keep wow. them all because they're just so lovely. We wanted to share them. They have two sides. They're sewn. We, we, sold, we sell different sizes for different dollar amounts. This one is $3. They're, this is like a really great windowsill. If you have a nice wide windowsill, oh. this is a really nice one for that. This and if one, you open that one up, that's a perfect one for a cat carrier. Yeah, it actually matches my curtains, like oh, our curtains in our living room. Really? Like the flower design. This one has hedgehogs. Oh, hedgehogs. And cacti. 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 And then what is this one? John I got Deere hair on my one? lipstick. <laughs> John Deere, pink John Deere. Oh, so yeah. girls can drive John Deeres too. I, in fact, have a John Deere lawnmower and I do like to drive it but my hus husband likes to drive it more so I'm only allowed to cut the grass when hubby's uh, traveling so more duplicates more duplicates so we've got a lot of these huh oh here's some other kinds so this other lady she takes fabrics look at these oh, these are really so nice cool. aren't they so this is like if you're a man you can use this side and if you're a woman you can use this side oh this but is like a Christmas one Oh, it is. It's got snowmen and stuff. And I'm expecting this one's a fall one. Oh, it's what is it? Double sided. What What is the pattern on it? Just a pattern. Okay, Leaves. that's uh, swirlies, and roses. Green roses on there. Beautiful. So I guess more Christmas, like green and green red. and red. Oh, there you go. But very nice. These are these make great cat carrier liners. When you um, take your cat to the vet and all always put some kind of liner even if it's newspaper yeah. because if they go potty and a lot of them do because they get nervous in the car because they don't go in the car very often yeah put something in your cat carrier because if they soil it then at least there's the fabric to absorb it you know yeah. so that it doesn't get in all their coat because then they have to sit in it and the and that is no good so we do encourage you to come in we have tons of these don't we we have yeah. big big piles of them to sell um, so if you're just looking for a cat care just come on in we're open Tuesday through Friday 12 to 5 and Saturdays 12 to 3 for adoptions and we have lots of things for sale not just these things um, but we appreciate these ladies who make these and just give them to us and say do whatever you need to do to take care of the cats so sometimes we sell them and sometimes we keep them yeah and we have a lot I love them this is a cute one it's a jungle theme yeah it's for like a baby or like like an animal thing like jungle thing yeah. like if you live in like the Amazon rainforest yeah like I mean, not that like you take it there. But. Yeah, you know what? This would be good too, if you have a human baby and you just want to lay the baby on this. Yeah. You know, or cuddle the baby in there. I mean, it's for babies too, but but we use them for cats here. Yeah, right? cats are also babies. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to share with the good people out there? Um, I'm afraid not. Oh, I think you've done a great job today. Thank you. You did fantastic. So what do we want to say? 
Thank you all good people for watching this. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. We'll walk this road from the start to the end. You are my best friend.